Hi, welcome to the Made Up Here YouTube channel. Today, we are going to do a really fun project with your Cricut machine, and that is creating zipper overlays. Now, these zipper overlays are really easy to design on your Cricut machine. I'm going to show you how to do that, um, and I will also provide these files for you in the description of the video. So if you would like to join me in this really fun project, I am excited to do this little tutorial. I know a lot of you um, struggle with the Cricut machine um, when it comes to bag making. Some of you have never even opened the box of your Cricut machine. So we're gonna change that. Um, hopefully you'll continue to come back to my channel and check out my fun projects. I'm really happy that you're here. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below, like, and make some comments on my channel. It really, really helps my channel to grow. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so here we are in design space. I've already created the two zipper overlays you see on the page. Now I'm going to create one that is a, a sharp edge uh, rectangle. So I chose shapes and I chose a square and I'm unlocking the size so that I can edit that, that square to make it a rectangle. Now the rectangle I have chosen to make is approximately seven and a half inches and I'm placing it up with my other overlays. And what I will do is I'm going to duplicate this rectangle. I'm going to change it to a different color to make it easy to see after I resize it. So I am resizing this rectangle to 6.5 by 1.75 to make the opening for our zipper. Once I've completed that, I'm going to change the color so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to lay that box over the rectangle I created for the zipper overlay. Once I have that centered correctly, what we will do is we will slice that out of the first darker gray rectangle. By slicing, that will remove that center piece so that when we're ready to cut, it will not, um, we will not have that center piece, it will cut that center piece out and you can just delete that lighter gray box. Now I'm going to just place them all together and we are ready to make it. Now that we have our zipper overlays on the mat, we need to move them around to make sure that we match the position on the mat to the position that you place your vinyl on the mat. This is really important to make sure that you don't cut off of your piece of vinyl. Now, I find it better to move your vinyl down closer to the center of the mat, and that will prevent um, Cricut from dragging up your vinyl. Okay, so apparently my audio didn't record while I was creating this project, so I'm going to do a little voiceover here to explain what I've done. The first thing you want to do is to lay your vinyl down on the mat and secure it with some painter's tape to make sure that the vinyl doesn't come up when Cricut is cutting out your zipper overlay. I've used a faux leather, um, leather look vinyl. It's got a very smooth surface and I am placing the vinyl right side down on the mat. Now I have moved this vinyl closer to the center of the mat just to avoid Cricut trying to drag up the edges of my vinyl as it cuts. The painter's tape is a little added security just so that um, nothing moves around on me when Cricut is trying to cut the vinyl. Here I think I'm talking to you about placement of your vinyl on the mat. You want to make sure you really take a look at design space and where you have placed the vinyl for cutting on your mat and make sure that it matches up with the grid lines on your strong grip mat to make sure that you're going to be cutting in the correct place. 
Okay, so now it's time to go into Design Space, make sure everything is lined up correctly, and we are going to select our materials. So now that I have everything placed correctly, I am going to hit Next, and I'm going to choose my Cricut Maker. And then it's going to ask us which material we are going to cut on. In this example, I am cutting on the moleskin material. And it is going to allow me to use the rotary cutter blade when we cut these zipper overlays out. I like the rotary blade because I feel like it makes really nice accurate cuts. And sometimes your regular cutting blade doesn't catch all the way. Um, we'll see how it goes here with the rotary blade. I always select more for pressure as well, just to be sure that I get a really good cut. Okay, so we have our mole skin setting. I am choosing more for pressure. And Design Space is telling me I need to load my rotary cutter blade in clamp B. Now it's time to place our mat, get it aligned in the alignment guides on the Cricut Maker. Make sure that it is set up straight. And I'm going to move the camera in a little bit closer so that you can see exactly what the Cricut is doing. Apologize for the mess in my studio. button is flashing and um, that alerts us that Cricut is ready to accept our mat with the material on it. So we are going to again make sure we're aligned and press the load button. And in it goes and Cricut is going to cut out our overlay. Okay, our project is finished. So we are going to peel back the tape and lift up the vinyl and see what we have with our zipper overlays. Everything went fairly smoothly with the Cricut. I didn't see any problems. So I'm pretty confident that this is going to work out really well. So just peel off all the painter's tape and then we are going to start at one of the corners of the vinyl and gently pull it up. Okay, all right, so it looks like the rotary blade didn't quite catch completely in the top zipper overlay. However, it does show the mark where it attempted to cut, and it looks like it just didn't catch the little backing of the vinyl. So not a huge deal. I can take a really sharp pair of scissors and just go over that cut and just make sure that we disengage that center portion of the zipper overlay. So I'm showing you here it did almost cut through and just missed it barely. So we'll just take our sharp scissors and cut that out.
The other two uh, looks really good. I'm hopeful. All right. Okay, so we have our first rounded rectangle zipper overlay. Here's our oval zipper overlay. I'm really excited about this one. And last but not least, our sharp edged rectangle zipper overlay. Beautiful. All right, so let me know what you think of this project. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Um, sky's the limit with this method. We can use any kind of vinyl. We can choose any kind of shape. So be creative. And I am happy to share these files with you. The file will be in the description link below this video. And if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, I would really, really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. I want to thank you so much for supporting the Made Up Here YouTube channel. And I will be back soon with another fun video. Have a great, great weekend.